Hi, my name is Lanisha Yolden and today is the 1st of November 2018 and additional to my previous video, I'll just be um, adding on a few points in um, regards to um, urine urinalysis. So I just wanted to talk about um, how much urine we actually caught. So I've got 10 mils of urine. Um, that's all we could get from the patient. Simply, it's always better to have more than less. Um, so you've got more to work with if you have any spillings or contaminations or anything. Now, um, the container that was used for that midstream collection was a clean, dry kidney dish. Um, making sure, obviously, it is a clean one so you're not getting contaminants in it or anything. Now, transporting that into the sterile um, specimen container like I did in the video. Um, just obviously so that way it can be stored adequately and um, without further contamination or anything. Um, that one can also be stored up to six hours in the fridge um, if it can't be seen too straight away. So that one's really important, that's just six hours. Um, so the reason we did our midstream um, collection was simply for convenience, the patient wouldn't stay still. Ideally we would do a syntho... A syntho cystocentesis um, because it is a sterile form of collection for the urine. Um, if we were doing obviously a culture or a send away urinalysis then we would definitely um, do do that um, method uh, but we were simply just looking at the overall um, concentration and levels of that urine that we were examining. Also as well um, when we are doing the dipstick another reason why we don't just dip the um, dipstick um, strip in the urine just like that as I discussed previously. Another reason too is because then you're going to mix those reagent pads um, chemicals together and then you're not going to get an accurate reading. Um, now that's pretty much everything that I needed to add on. Um, thank you.